Welcome to Ramsgate Slayer, Bradley. I saw airships. Yeah. I saw a cat lady. There's a, I think it's more like an owl. Oh, it's, geez. Look at that. Uh, yeah, wow. Okay, totally that's definitely, those are not oh, ears, are we, they? We <laughs> got heard. right in there, didn't we? Have, uh, you, have you tricked me into checking out a Final Fantasy game? Let's no, go. actually, no. I, I tricked you into playing a free-to-play uh, Monster Hunter-ish oh. kind of game. Uh, this is Dauntless. This is out on PC. Big via, Daddy Dart. Via the Epic Store. Okay. Uh, PS4 and Xbox. That guy has a PlayStation icon. And yeah, right that, his name. that guy has a PlayStation icon. So, like, PlayStation people and Xbox people. That guy has an Xbox. And me, can Xbox all play together and if we PlayStation, want to. cats and dogs living together. <laughs> that's a RAM. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I mean, I, I think this is the first game out of the gate to have all three platforms together in one. Right? Yeah, I think so as well. Like it, it, right out of the gate, as far as yeah, like at launch, we can pet the dog. You can pet the dog. Yeah. <clears throat> no switch, right? No switch. Okay. Uh, they've talked about a switch version and hmm. actually an Android version. Oh wow! Well, down the road. Uh, I hear it's quite popular so far. But yeah, so this is the, uh, definitely a Monster Hunter game. You know, we're, we're out, you know, hunting specific behemoths. They're called Neutral here. behemoths, blaze behemoths, frost behemoths. Yeah. That's cool that they're actually, you know, divvied up by their, their elements. So if I want to go on just, like, I, I just need blaze parts, then I would suck this blaze patrol and I'd find one of those blaze monsters on my hunt. Uh, but I've been preferring to go... Let's see, I've been looking at the shock behemoths because I like the parts from from this guy right here. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna go on a hunt. Mezoga. Yeah. And see how well we do. He's he's actually pretty tough. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this will work out. I'm gonna switch weapons as well. That was all the out of game stuff. There's not much going on outside okay. of the game. So this is just a hub world, but I mean, that's where you get your quests. That's where you forge your armor. Is all that uh, stuff, uh, let's say, a little more straightforward than Monster Hunter? Yep, it's very okay. streamlined. It's a way okay. to, you know, that's a nice way of putting it, but um, it's true. Uh, Monster Hunter is... Uh, oh, we had a match already. Kind of impenetrable in a lot of ways. Yeah, there's, there's not this, a lot of hand-holding going this, on This there. looks pretty clean. Yeah. Did you, uh, were you in matchmaking? Were you like yep. looking for a posse? Yeah, and it didn't take very long. Did you do that straight from the quest menu? I think I didn't even notice. I did, yeah. That you just started looking for yeah. folks. Goes so. by really quick. Do you ever go out by yourself or is it always better to try to Oh man, get these crew? guys are really tough. So we'll take a look at the, like the required, you know, um, let's switch our weapons up first. Go up to a hammer. Cause I know that this is good against that particular monster. The gun hammer. So the weapon power is at 300, recommended is 200. I'm not that far above, you know, what the recommended is. Um, so yeah, it's definitely better to hunt with a posse. Unless you're completely, you know, overpowering the uh, the monster or behemoth as it were. Is it pretty much the same loop? Like you're in the hub world, then you just load out to the map and hunt, and then you come right back? Yeah. Like, you're not you're not spending a lot of time in the world just roaming? Right. Or exploring? Yeah. I mean, there's stuff out here to uh, to grab, you know, for crafting materials, because you can make uh, grenades and, and potions and stuff, which is, you know, something different. Those can be, like, healing grenades or, you know, straight-up damage or elemental-style ones. So I've got, like, a scout fly element. You know, equivalent. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, with this particular lantern that I have, different lanterns give you different powers. So this one's just kind of pointing me in the right direction of where this monster might be, and that's about the equivalent of you know getting materials is just like running by if they're in my way. Otherwise, you're here to do one thing. Yep. And that's I'm hunt. Here, I'm here to hunt. Oh, I hope we, I hope we do this. Where's your crew? They're off looking for. For the monster, they'll send up a flare once uh, once we find them. But does everybody just kind of fan out and look? Yep. Okay. Is there tracking in the Monster Hunter sense? No, not so much because it's all in this one big area. Okay, so you're not looking for footprints and right. dung, nope, and stuff. Nope. Oh man, nobody's found him yet. Somebody's been here. Oh wait, Some those... there we go. All the trees are flattened. Oh Somebody hey. Somebody sent up a flare over there. Oh, 
Oh, I hear something. There we go. Oh, jeez. So he, he puts out these, uh, these pillars right here, and they'll shock the hell out of you. Let's take him down. So we've got light and heavy attacks. Uh, we've got a dodge roll that you're completely invincible with, which is really, really nice, very generous. Very you, fun to do. Can you shoot your hammer? I can shoot my hammer. You see that it's got like bullets? Uh -huh. If I do the heavy attack, it'll actually okay. shoot. But for the most part, I use them as, as an active reload. Um, I can either use them to like prime, like if I hit a button right before you see how it like flashed, if I hit right, a button right before it hits, that'll use one of those bullets. But what I like to do is the three hit attack, followed by this. Oh, I got hit out of it. Uh, but that'll expend like all the bullets to do it. A nice, nice bit of damage. The hammer is... looks and sounds good. Yeah. The, that hit sound is incredibly satisfying. Yes. It's a good thunk. Uh, would you say there's as much technique for each weapon as a Monster Hunter? I mean... It seems as such, yeah. Some of the, some of the weapons in that game, or in those games, are pretty complex. Yes. Um, they're, they're not as complex, I would say. And they actually show you... Um, give you a move list uh, right from the like the, the main menu to show you what exactly your your weapon can do. Unfortunately, there's not like a training room or anything like that, as far as I can tell. Whoa! Ooh. I got heal, dude. No, I already hit. I wish my party would take care of these because I get this big slow hammer. Oh boy. Didn't take it out. Somebody's always got to be on spike duty. Yeah, come on. Nobody wants to do Here, it. Kill this thing. Thank you. Wait, there's Kobe's not more than one, are there? Or no, did he just uh, change? He just okay. changed. Yeah, he's enraged right now. This means he's faster and does different attacks. Oops. That's a little more docile. I'm just gonna stick to the back end. There Does it have the uh, location-based damage type stuff? Yep, totally. You can kind cut of off, see in the... Cut off tails and stuff like that? Yeah, you can see in his like, hind quarters on the other side that there are some scars kind of building up. So they do the same thing of just sort of like subtle visual cues you need to look for? Yep. Not, not so much like meters and explicit stuff? Yep. Uh-oh. Ooh! Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! They're pretty generous with the, uh, the revives, so... Oh, jeez. We gotta go take care of these pylons here. So the first uh, weapon that I used was a sword, and that, that one is extremely straightforward. Oh, I gotta... I would revive that guy, but this guy's down. I gotta take my shot where I can get him with a hammer. Um, and the sword is just like extremely mashy. Um, there's no nuance to it whatsoever. Um, so I, I didn't have high hopes for the rest of the weapons. But as it turns out, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of stuff going on. There's some, there's some technique to be sure. You have a rough idea how many there are? Uh, there's six different weapons. Okay. Um, are, those, so are those like weapon classes? I mean, are you yeah. finding different types of gun hammers within that? Oh, totally, yeah. Different, different swords? Yeah, you're making them out of, you know, this guy's parts and, you know, of the, the big beaver monster parts and stuff. And those are different classes of, of hammers, and they'll, they'll have their own special abilities. Okay, that's cool. Not a different moveset, per se, but... Some like some variations. Diff yeah, different uh, different things will happen on hit. Like you know, this will cause more stagger damage, or it might generate shields. Get out of here. I've got a defense potion too that I haven't used that I probably should. There we go. Oh. Oh, he took off. Luckily, got that. 
Seems a little more efficient than paintballs. Yep. Are there, uh, like, is there one big world? Or are there different, ma like, smaller maps that you kind of load into? Rainsgate is pretty much it. This, yeah, but there's uh, one giant map, basically? Yeah, there's one giant, uh, like, if the areas that you go to are there, you know, like, woodland or, you know, desert-type areas or... Are they all connected? Like, could you run across the entire game? No. They're, they're, this is called the Shattered Isles, and, like, all of these islands are... Are like shattered into much smaller pieces. Okay, so they are sort of distinctive. Yep. Land masses. Yep. Got it. I should have put a flare. Is there a map? No, no map. No in-game map. No. Wow. Huh. That's not, not that I found. Interesting. The map is such a big part of Monster Hunter. Yep. But there's not different areas in here. So there's there's really just the like if somebody throws up a flare, you just kind of follow that. Sure. It's hard to get lost. Oh, there's these little things which actually, oops, which will heal you. Oops. And it's not working. Okay, cool. But certainly, the combat's a little more flashy than Monster Hunter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's definitely more special effects going on. Oh, jeez. You can self-revive, but... You only get three of those. I'm hoping somebody will res me. Not looking good because there's somebody else down. Yeah. All right. I will self res. Come on, Clay the Clapper. Got him? Okay. Ooh. Aw, oh, damn it. I can't use consumables while I'm shocked. Damn it. Oh, man. You were just on yep. the cusp. I'm mashing up to use my. There we go. There's a lot of weight to this weapon. Oh no! Are those guys dead dead? Yeah. Oh man, that's bad. He's up there. I like how the music kind of cuts out. Yeah. It starts doing the heartbeat type thing. I think we're gonna wipe on this. Yeah, I don't know that this is looking good. No. I mean, granted, I wasn't you know playing you know the best out here, but uh, you can see how you know we we were by the numbers we were overpowered. Yeah. This guy, but. He's definitely still a challenge. Look at him. Oh, he's so close to that. Smug bastard. Just lying down. Yep. The Wait. One. Oh, oh god, I thought for a second he was done. <clears throat> so there's just a hundred percent no way to bring those guys back at this right. point. Oh! Oh, that guy's back. He's got repeaters. Oh. Shoot. Come on. I don't know his attack patterns that well, so. Oop. That's it, man. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, some good sound design in this. Oh man. I got one. That was my last one. Oh! Ouch. I didn't know that was coming backwards. Alright. Let's go Clay the Clapper. Yeah, can you spectate, dude? Or. No, can't no spectate. nothing. I can just kind of watch from here. So yeah, these dudes are really, really challenging. You know, half of Ouch. it is, you know, I don't know the attack. Attack patterns, and I'm also on a video right now, but 
But I also don't fare that that well when I'm like on point either. <laughs> These guys are tough. Yeah. We'll fight something a little bit easier so we can see. Do you know if, if this guy pulled it out? Do you know if everybody gets all the stuff? They or, do, or do you have yeah. to, like, is there a carving equivalent? There's no carving equivalent, but you, yeah, still get uh, all so the just, stuff at the end just, of the... You just get all the stuff? Yep. And we'll get, we'll get uh, you know, subtractions because we know we've been fallen or whatever, but for the most part, you know, the required stuff or the, the reward stuff you, you get, but not the bonuses. Okay. The bonuses that you would normally get for, for not being, you know, dead. Let's go play. I might have to exit out here. We'll give him a little bit. But so far, like, all the monsters have been really well designed. You know, when I first started, I put maybe about five, five hours in, you know, I saw a handful of monsters and then they kind of started repeating as far as, like, you know, their different variants, you know, like, a, this guy is like a, or I should say, like, you know, the, there's an owl one. Uh, that's mostly neutral, but then there was one that was like a frost one or something like that. Uh, so I was, I was, I was worried that that was it, but it did open up eventually. Um, and there were more monster types. So right now there's probably about 10 or 12 or something okay. like that. Oh, uh, I think that's it. Clay did his best. Yeah, he did. Uh, have you did. put in any time on consoles? Uh, yeah, a little bit. So it, it runs not as well. Is like it probably 30, about 30, 30 frames. 30 FPS on consoles, yeah. that's what I figured. Yeah, and that's kind of a bummer. So we still get some stuff. Um, and we do get, you know, a little bit of progression as well. That's kind of fun having all these short-term goals. It's like okay. You do X amount of damage with a hammer. And you'll get uh, you'll get treasure chests. And okay. Stuff and you rank up that. per monster yep, as well? Per, is that yeah, per monster. Is that and increasing, like, the rewards you get or how much damage you do or all of the above? What it's doing is you'll get a bonus, you know, when it fills up um, the meter. Like, you'll get, like, a, a core that you... Uh, unlock to get cells, which is like modification stuff or gems. Mm. I'll, I'll show you that right now. The million dollar question to me, and I'm guessing the answer is no, but I mean, obviously you can play with people on other platforms, mm -hmm. but can you maintain a character across platforms? You can. Absolutely. You can? Yeah, like it'll wow, remember I'd... exactly where I'm standing in town. Same same character, same loadout, same gear, everything? Yep, everything. No kidding. Yeah, between, yeah, I can fire it up on, on my PC, and then go directly over to my console. So this is the same character you've been playing across both? Yep, definitely. That's crazy, because typically, like, the microtransaction thing is the sticking point, right? Right. Because they don't want you to buy stuff on the Epic Store instead of the PlayStation Store, because then Sony doesn't get their cut, right? But, right. So I'm, I'm surprised they managed to work that out. That's cool. So these are cores, or, you know, treasure chests, essentially, that I've gotten for either... Uh, the battle pass or ranking up in certain things and you know you get crafting materials but you also get these modification things that you can throw into your your armor or your weapons and they'll give you like offensive and defensive abilities but that's really all the all that you're getting out of these cores sometimes you'll get like an emote or something very rarely love a good warmth cell yeah these are all pretty good actually nice But I wish that you could, you know, I don't know, get weapons or something, something a little more. I've got a ton of these and I haven't really outfitted most of my stuff with them. I probably should, but you can only use them once. You're just so, doing the one character so far? Yeah, just the one character. Is there even a reason to do others? No. Like probably. it's not class based or anything like that? No, it's no just class it's all... based. Yeah, it's all weapon and, and armor equivalents. Let's go talk to Santa up here, or Wills. Oh, I love Santa. Oh, wait, I got a quest to turn in. Hey, what's up? What is it? I completed Skullcracker Science. Excellent work. Thank you. Did that. I get 100 rams, and I get another core. Cool. Farewell, and All right. good luck. Thanks. She had already given me another quest. My friend. So this is the guy that'll craft uh, weapons You're for me. For Soros, and he, he sounds like Santa. Um, I love him an awful lot. He's got a quest for me, too. A simple task. Really? Okay, equip one of your weapons with a little weapon mod. I've done that. Behemoths beware, Bowman Blades. Go check out my loadout. So let's put this in here. Okay. Do I complete that quest now? Welcome, welcome. Yeah. 
Wills was always in your corner. Thank you, Santa. Ho, 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 yeah. Got them rams. Yep. Here we go. So these are all the the monster types, and each monster. I mean, look at that. That's that's a ton right there. Yeah. Um, each of them will give me parts for whatever weapon. These are the different weapon types. Um, there's only five here. Um, so there's kind of a, is there kind of just a matrix of monsters and weapons? Yeah. Like every monster much. has one of every weapon? Yep. That seems like a lot. Same thing with, uh, with armor here as well. Okay. She's buff. Good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Biceps and triceps. Uh, they've done a pretty good job of like making the armor look like the monsters yeah. as well. That's always nice. Yeah, that's touch. some good looking stuff. Yeah. This is what I'm working towards right now. I don't like the abilities so much, but the armor just looks really, really cool. Hey, good luck. Let's go try out a different weapon and uh Oh, I'll show you some of the um some of the quests that you get from the main lady here. This is kind of the main story progression, as it were. Is this just the, this is the one town yeah, just the for one the whole town. game? Yep. The one hub that I've that I've seen. So yeah, this is uh, these that's are just like yeah, there's a lot of that's stuff. A, that's a lot. So once I complete those, she'll give me a set of new tasks and you know so on and so forth. Just keeps just keeps going, man. That grind. Let's get slim. never ends. Hunt and grind. Let's go fight a beaver. Okay. Um, that doesn't sound fair, but let's say, unless it's a really big beaver. It's a really big beaver. Neutral behemoths. This is like one of the first monsters. That so you is behemoth just their generic term for monster? Yes. Okay. Let's not find a, a lesser nash. <laughs> not a specific category or anything. Right. Yeah, that's a pretty evil looking beaver. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. Look at those teeth. We'll find a normal beaver. Could have done a private hunt too, but... Oh yeah, that's, that's an option. You can do private hunts by yourself, but... It's pretty tough. I don't know if they scale with, you know, the number of... Slayers that are that are on the team, but is that sense. their term slayer not hunter? Yep Monster slayer Check that out. Whoa. Yeah, what's that for? It's serious. I just plant my flag man. Just just let him know. Yep. Just let him know. Hey just gotta Tell him what you're about Boom. That's a good sound Okay, so I'm gonna choose a different weapon These war pikes are really cool. Um, they're more for the causing wound damage uh, and like breaking specific parts. Hammers are for like just beating the hell out of people. Same thing with hammers. Uh, these are kind of, I guess, wound ones as well. No mod equipped. I don't have a mod for them. Flight of the Shrike. All right, let's go. This time you're 300 over 50. I think so. I got this. Look at that. We got PlayStation people, Xbox people. Do it, Something kind of nice about it. It just sort of yeah. feels good. Yeah. Everybody working together. We got voice chat. Okay. Oh, the voice chat works all between platforms? Yep. That's cool. Man, I hope this is, I really hope this is not a one-off. I hope it's just a sign of yeah. things to come. And it's great that they're getting this in now before the new consoles come out. Like, hopefully it'll just be kind of, like, expected by the time those machines come around. Mm -hmm. And you can just kind of count on it. Okay, speed bonus. What's that 1% up there? Top right? Up right? Oh, uh, the danger level. Ah. When it, when it gets up to the top, that's that's when like everybody's dead. Ah, I see. I don't think that's a beaver. I don't know. Look at those teeth. I'm not though. so sure. Look at the big, eh, it's look at got that a tail. big floppy tail, but it's got like scales and stuff. All right, so you see those uh, four like light blue orbs in the upper left hand corner? Yes. I can use those to, if I'm far away, I can use those to jump in real quick. Or if I'm up close, I can use it to 
to jump away. Are those uh, an element of the weapon you have equipped? Yeah, that's not an element. Well, but what I mean is those are a feature of yes. the specific weapon you're using right yep. now? Like you didn't have that before, right? Right. What weapon is this? Dual blades? Yes. Basically? Yep. So this one, if I okay, do so you're building. Attacks, and, I see. Yeah, and you build it up. Building that meter back up. If I do three attacks and then hold the heavy attack, he'll do that. that Look at that, we already chopped off its tail. That thing right there. That's really good. Do you have any control over which kind of biomes these hunts take place in, or it just sends you where it wants you to go? It depends on what you're hunting. You know, okay. So if I was uh, fighting a, you know, a flame behemoth or something like that, uh, the terrain would kind of change some match. A little okay. more arid, a little more deserty. Gotcha. Oh yeah. Oh shit, it won't be right by him. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. There's also a consumable you can call it an airstrike. Those are oh. few and far between, but it does sound pretty cool. So there, I, I must have done something. Chain blades. Yeah, to, to level up the chain blades. Oh, it's also got this cool attack. It uses up stamina, huh. but if you need to keep away. Good way to do it. Oh. Doesn't that look delicious? Ooh boy, that's yeah. some some steak right there. <laughs> beaver tail. Uh, I've never had beaver tail. Wait, people eat that? I have no idea. Somebody must eat it. We did it! Hey, you did it! Put my flag. Boom. Sorry, lesser Nasher. You're pretty good on that one. You died so that we could live. And get your parts. Wow, S plus plus, huh? Yeah. I think that's as high as it goes. That's as high as I've seen it for sure. So that's pretty much the loop. Yep. This seems like, I mean, yeah. nothing against this game. It seems it seems really well put together, but also not super original. Yeah. Or, you know, it looks like, you know, it's kind of the expected parts of a, of of a, a Monster, of a Monster Hunter, Hunter style, style game. Yeah, totally. Um, so yeah, once I once I completed the hunts, I go back and- Craft some stuff. Craft some stuff get, and get then- Get the next quest. Yep. Unfortunately, yeah, these hub worlds aren't too big. There's really not a whole lot going on. You, like you can go pet the dog, I guess. That's, that's not bad. Yeah. Uh, I, I, you know, it's not a huge thing, but I, I feel like it has a leg up on Monster Hunter just because it matches people in here randomly. <laughs> yeah, that's for you to look at. That's true, and it's like that's it's, something I really missed in World. It's very streamlined too. Like it's, it's easy to hop in and you know, do well. I think. You just, I just want to, I want a world that feels kind of lively. You know, mm -hmm. I just want to see people running around like they're doing stuff. Yep. And see what kind of cool armor they have because that's kind of aspirational, right? Yep. Oh yeah, of course, we need to see how this works. So these are the free-to-play trappings, essentially. So the platinum in the upper right-hand corner is, you know, the real-world money. I went ahead and I bought one of these, like, Ark Slayer packs and spent a little bit and got some cool armor out of it. I'm pretty happy with it. Is that the sort of, like, spendy, fancy pack? Yep. Okay, that's not the battle pass. No, uh, Okay. I can show you that here in a little bit. But yeah, that's just buying... Uh, straight up platinum. That's so that, that's kind of the most expensive like unique purchase um, the 40 bucks There's the outside of the dollars. currency. I mean obviously yeah, but like in terms of specific like stuff you're getting, Yeah, yep. okay, um, then you get dyes to you know to Put different colors on your armor uh, You can also transmog your your armor and see different, you know, whatever if you've unlocked it You can transmog it okay. it essentially, which is really nice. Like yeah, I can, cool I can gun skins. Oh man, I can think of some other loot games that I wish had that. Mm -hmm. 
And then here's the, the equivalent of the, the battle pass. They call it a hunt pass. Huh. So you buy this from a different vendor? Yep. Interesting. You buy that for, I want to say around 10, 12 bucks or something like that. Okay. Then you have the option of, you know, spending a little bit more to like level up to like level 15 right away. But, okay. Uh, but yeah, this is straightforward stuff. Like I've, I've unlocked that, that cool mask and... Did you buy the level 15 or did you do this the old fashioned? I did it the old fashioned. How, how fast is the leveling? Is pretty, it reasonable? Pretty quick. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. My only other recent battle pass experiences with Apex where the leveling was just so painfully slow that I just didn't play it. Oh, I like so. flying in like that. Huh. Nero. Weird. Um, Nero. And that's kind of it with the battle pass. Just yep. e either buy the level one or the level 15 and then just go. Yep. What was that? Does this say season five at the top of it? Yeah, they've been at this for a little while. Oh, right, because this has been an alpha for and then beta for a long time, yeah, right? Yeah, beta for a long time. Oh, so time. they didn't reset progress? Nope. Interesting. I wonder, yeah, I wonder if that's confusing for people who are coming in for the first time on consoles. Yeah, I had to, you know, transfer my character to an Epic account, um, and I kept, yeah, all my progress and everything. It was, it was pretty seamless for the most part. Getting Good it dog. hooked up to the console, that was, that was something else, because... You have to hook the console accounts up to your Epic account. Okay, so it sounds like they have maybe kind of retired their Dauntless account system in favor of the Epic system. Yeah, yeah, I would assume so. There's probably no way to play on those uh, with that old launcher. Now yeah, that makes sense if Epic is going to be their PC platform. Right. Might as well just go with what's already built in. Well, Brad, that's about it. Yeah, this, I'm glad to see what this is and, you know. There's all my moves. Check that out. That is already so much more straightforward than, I that's mean, else. Monster yes. Hunters. It is what it is. Money pass, it's, quest logs, yeah. That's, that's, this that's seems like maybe it. a kinder, kinder, gentler alternative. It's a, yeah, it's a fr much friendlier. <laughs> and very low barrier to entry. Yeah, totally. It's free to play. Yeah. All right, go check it out. Good hunting. Thanks, Brad.